for decades, those with eyes to see have been aware of chemtrails in our skies. And for decades, we were called conspiracy theorists. But in 2016, while serving as director of the CIA, John Brennan admitted that chemtrails are real at the Council on Foreign Relations. Another example is the array of technologies, often referred to collectively as geoengineering, that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI, a method of seeding the stratosphere with particles that can help reflect the sun's heat in much the same way that volcanic eruptions do. An SAI program could limit global temperature increases, reducing some risks associated with higher temperatures and providing the world economy additional time to transition from fossil fuels. This process is also relatively inexpensive. The National Research Council estimates that a fully deployed SAI program would cost about $10 billion yearly. In 2007, it was announced that nano-sized particles, known as smart dust, can be dispersed over the battlefield via aerial spraying. The military has contracted several multinational corporations to develop wearable biosensors. Biosensors and smart dust can become something known as body dust that can spread inside the human body as an active network capable to provide telemetry from inside the body for the use of monitoring humans. There is a patent for using polyethylene glycol derivatives as a way to modify the weather, the same substances used in the COVID-19 lipid nanoparticles. These polymers can be integrated with biosensors and soft robotics for smart materials, materials that can be modified by external stimuli Soft robotics is a subfield of robotics that utilizes compliant materials rather than rigid ones, such as the hydrogels found in the experimental COVID shots. DuPont is manufacturing elastomers for fast-moving soft robots and have developed the fastest DEA-driven soft robots ever reported. Designed for biosensing, interacting with biological entities, and actuating on a cellular level. In her recent article, Smart Dust, Biosensors, Polymers for Geoengineering, and the Multinational Corporations that Manufacture Them, Dr. Anna Maria Miel Chia points out that these are the transhumanist technologies that will be giving AI enormous amounts of data, as Bill Gates said, to understand 100 trillion organisms. She also points out the important fact that the elastomers being fabricated by DuPont for this soft robot technology are made of the exact same chemicals found when analyzing the messagens, a compound that displays liquid crystal properties, found in targeted individuals. And they appear to be the same compounds she found in the blood of the vaxxed, as well as the blood of the unvaxxed, which appear to be the same structures used as part of electronic circuitry in self-assembly nanotechnology. Smart Dust is a system of tiny microelectromechanical systems that can detect light, temperature, vibration, magnetism, or chemicals. They are operated wirelessly on a computer network, can be used for medical or military surveillance purposes, and can be dispersed through the air via chemtrails, which would greatly go unnoticed by the sleeping masses who have come to accept them. When combined with the messaging soft robot technology, which has already been found in several blood samples of unwitting victims, they could create a means of monitoring and controlling the entire human population. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.